everyone, my name is Mike Meno and thank you for visiting my channel. And in this video, flex ko lang yung road bike namin ng wife ko, which is the Twitter Stealth Pro. So I will share to you ano yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya, ano yung kailangan pang improve, at ano yung overall verdict ko sa bike na to. By the way, if you are new here and if you are really interested in a lifestyle that is balancing the four F's which is faith, family, finance, and fitness so please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well okay so now let's review this bike again disclaimer muna pala um, hindi ko sasabihin dito yung specs nung bike na to ang gagawin ko ililive ko na lang sa comment as uh, a description yung link for you to know more about the specs of this uh, road bike but uh, what i can share to you is yung experience ko sa bike na to so again unang una ano yung nagustuhan ko sa bike na to first of course very minimalistic yan internal cabling so nung unang unang nakita ko to uh, tinuro ng wife ko to sabi ko wow ito yung gusto kong bike Bakit rin? Siyempre, look at it. Favorite color ko kasi black, di ba? So, gustong gusto ko siya, hindi masyadong blow up yung, uh, yung sign, yung, uh, yung ano niya, hindi masyadong maano yung color. So, yun kasi gusto ko yung parang minimalist lang yung itsura niya. Yan ang unang-una kong nagustuhan. Pangalawa, of course, siyempre, yung performance. So, natry ko na siyang i-bike for 100 kilometers and by God's grace, okay naman siya. Yung preno niya, kung makapit, yung, yung pag-shift ko, okay na okay, very smooth. Kaya overall in the performance, wow, wala akong masabi. It's really a, a great bike for me for endurance. Kasi this also, by the way, an endurance bike. Kaya yan ang nagustuhan ko. And last thing na nagustuhan ko, of course, is the weight. ba first time ko kasi magkaroon ng gantong road bike na carbon. At uh, ang yung weight niya na raw is around 8.5 kilos okay pero of course syempre real talk tayo hindi naman tayo magra-ride ng talagang yung bike lang syempre nandiyan na yung mga peripherals yung lalag yung tubig di ba yung sad yung saddle bag mo yung mga sensors mo yung computer tsaka yung uh, GoPro mo minsan yung cellphone linalagay mo pa di ba so because of this tinimbang ko talaga siya tinimbang ko siya and here is a uh, naka real weight niya pag ira-ride ko na siya. Hi guys! So ngayon, I will weigh my bike using this weighing scale. So, ang ano ko, ang bike ko, nakalagay na dun yung mga peripherals. Yung mga nakalagay na bag, yung water bottle ko, yung computer ko, tsaka yung GoPro. Tingnan natin yung total weight niya pag nagra-ride ako. Okay? So first, syempre, kailangan kong kunin yung weight ko muna para i-minus natin mamaya pag binuhat ko yung weight bike. ko is 60.7 kilos okay sulat ko na rin na natin anong weight niya kasama ako tapos i-minus natin syempre kasama na yung water bottle yung mga speed sensor ko yung GoPro yung bag okay so ang total weight nito 71 71 kilos okay 71 so that's 10 10.3 kilos so that's that weight of my bike if kasama yung mga peripherals pero overall di ba okay pa rin ang gaang pa rin niya so yun yung nagustuhan ko sa bike na to okay now ano naman yung pwede ko pang i-improve di ba hindi naman yung sa hindi ko nagustuhan Yung ano lang is ano pa yung pwede ko pang i-improve sa bike na to. First, of course, is yung tunog mayaman. Narinig niyo na ba yun? Oh no! <laughs> yung tunog mayaman, di ba? Pag nag-free wheel kasi kami ng wife ko or nung mga friends ko, pag nag-free wheel na kami, napakaingay. Nung hubs, ang ingay. Hindi ako sanay. Hindi na kami nakakapag-usap. So, yun yung isa kong... Siguro i-improve moving forward and kasi ngayon naka-alloy pa naman yung wheel set nito. Uh, pag nagpalit ako ng carbon wheel set, isasabay ko na of course kasama naman yung hubs doon, pipili na lang ako yung hindi ganung kaingay. Diba yung tahimik lang, simple lang tayo no? <laughs> simple lang. So yun yung first 
na gusto kong i-improve sa bike na to. Second, of course, is the saddle. Ito yung saddle. Medyo parang hindi pa siya pang endurance na saddle. Kasi may malambot pa siya. Sabi sa research na pag malambot tapos pag long ride, medyo mahirap siya. Parang nagmamanhid yung, uh, yung sa bat natin. So, uh, tumitingin ako sa, alam nyo ba yung Shopee? Yan. So, tumitingin ako dyan at nakakita ko yung Tosik. Tosik. Okay ba yung brand na yun, guys? So, please put in the comments kung okay siya or kung meron kayong masasuggest na mga magandang saddle. Please uh, put it in the comment section. Uh, I really appreciate that and thank you in advance. Basta, ang point ko, it's really for endurance and yung size nung sa akin pala is 142mm. Yan. And last thing that I really want to improve on my bike, on our road bike, is yung um, bar tape. Uh, ito naman is based naman sa feedback ng mechanic ko nung pinatono ko yung bike. Uh, sabi niya doon is medyo manipis yung um, yung bar tape or parang pagtating sa malayo yung endurance nga baka magmanhid na yung kamay ko and yun yung isa kong gusto kong i-upgrade and ang bala kong upgrade na bar tape is yung physique diba? okay ba dito yung brown or black put it also in the comment kung ano yung maganda okay ba yung brown kasi parang iniisip ko brown din pwede no yung parang leather brown so yun meron yung isa ko kasing uh, bike store na napuntahan meron sila so tingnan natin okay and of course syempre bago ko mag upgrade lalaspagin muna natin Aww. kasi pwede naman siyang gamitin na stock okay naman siya ito lang naman is what needs to improve pero for me hindi na ma makakapaghintay pa siya makakapaghintay diba unti unti Unti-unti ko siyang uh, upgrade, especially yung wheel set. Yung wheel set. So, yun. Baka yung unahin ko dyan, yung saddle. Kaya kung meron kayo mga suggestion agad sa saddle, please put it in the comment section. Okay. So, now, ano naman yung mga na-upgrade ko na? Diba? Ikaw ba, nung bumili ka ng bike, naging upgradeitis ka rin? Diba? So, ako, nag-upgradeitis na rin ako. <laughs> so yung pinalitan ko of course essential naman eh essential naman yung pinalitan ko yung cleats di ba yung pedals ginawa ko ng cleats pedals at ang kinuha ko is yung 105R 7000 cleats pedals and ano pa yung in-upgrade ko ito yung mga lalagyanan ng gadgets ko yung computer and the GoPro so yun lang yun pa lang naman yung na-upgrade ko yung saddle yung mga ilaw ko galing naman yan sa uh, iba kong bike okay and ito na. What is my overall verdict on this road bike, the Twitter Stealth Pro? So for me and for my wife, ang feedback namin, ang review namin at ang overall con uh, conclusion namin or verdict namin, two thumbs up. Okay na okay yung road bike for us, especially yung wife ko, first time niya talaga mag road bike ng ganto and talagang wala kami masabi, maganda okay yung bike na to. So, if you are really considering to really also own a Twitter Stealth Pro, okay na okay yan. Sige. And kung saan namin binili, uh, it's in the BXO, Bike Expresso sa Paniki Tarlac. So, I will also put the Facebook page uh, sa link below sa description para you can visit it as well. Okay. So, that's the review. That's uh, the bike check of our Twitter Stealth Pro. And again, okay na okay na bike siya. Gustong gusto namin ng, uh, ng wife ko. And that's it. If you want to really know more about this or meron ka pang ibang suggestions or inquiries, just put it in the comment section and um, pwede ko siyang sagutin din based on my experience on this road bike. Okay, so again, uh, my name is Mike Meno. Thank you for watching this again. If you are interested in having a balanced life, balancing the four Fs, again, that's faith, family, finance, and fitness. So please subscribe to my channel and please hit that notification bell for you to be uh, informed and notified moving forward. So thank you guys for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.